My very first guest on our very first show is a professor here at William Patterson. He's a filmmaker who has taught classes such as Film One, its highly successful sequel, Film Two, and the sequel to that, you guessed it, Film Three. You may have never heard of him, but if you have any classes in this building, he's pretty loud, so you have heard him. Please give it up for Professor Chris Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> All that. I don't know what that was. It's brothers. That's yeah. how we, yes. you know, uh -huh. giving a little dab. Right off Black Indeed. History Month. I love it. Right. That's right, my brother. You understand <laughs> how that is, right? Right, right on. on. Thank you. Right, right on. Soul brother. Stop. Just stop. Soul brother number two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're in the the, the afterglow. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. It's the, the low bar. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Sure. Yeah. I, no, I appreciate what you said about the low bar, and I think you just mentioned that because gotta stay humble. Uh, but but I do want to tell you, I. You know, in film, mm -hmm. television, we have something called B-roll. Yes. It's the stuff, you know, if you're interviewing me, you'll see me walking down, that's B-roll. Right. I only deal with A-roll, mm -hmm. so I don't deal with the low bar, so I'm here to elevate everything. Really? Yeah, that's why we I'm had you on. I'm raising the bar. Thank you. The bar is officially high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as soon as you Snaps. walk off this, yeah. right after you walk off the screen, it's going to go back down. Yeah. Yes. There you go. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> stop. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you He's looking at you. You're trying to get into, you're trying to get into the bl Black Club one. Stop it. He's in everybody. He's talking to me with, his, with his eyes. People do that. Okay. All right. Yeah, shout out to See your you girlfriend. <laughs> Williams, thanks for being here. Sure. Uh, you have been a professor at this school for how long? 22 years. Damn. 20 years, two years. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, what? well, first of all, let me say, this is not new to you. You were on a couple years ago, the old late night show, uh, or one of the old late night shows, part of the late night class, the, the late show with Scott Semblitz. And in that show, uh, you were Williams, but there was a bit that you guys did, and it's on YouTube if you guys wanna go watch, it's hilarious, on the, on the Willie P. Com department YouTube, but there's a bit where they're reading uh, your Rate My Professor reviews. And one of them, is very notable, uh, and this is real, this is actually on Rate My Professor, Chris Williams. Uh, it says, no homo, but this man's so fine, he got two S's in his name like some goddamn dessert. Because his name is Chris with two S's. I'm just taking that in. You know, it, it reminds me. I, <laughs> it's true. Right? Well, look, this, what can this you is, do? Look, I'm not going to lie. I, I taught at Boston University for a while, mm -hmm. and I was involved in a, a film organization there. It was a bunch of black filmmakers in Boston. And I was there. It was a big meeting. And this woman is talking, and she says, you know, some brothers come in different ways. Like him, he's muscles in chocolate. And then she starts talking. I didn't hear she a word. Said she said, she pointed to me and said, muscles and chocolate. So that became my thing. Muscles, muscles and chocolate? And chocolate. <laughs> wow. So that's, that's, that's who I am. Your wife I'm is serious. a very like, lucky can lady. Can I tell you, my wife got me this little man, chocolate, mm -hmm. muscles. That's it, man. That's how I roll. <laughs> is it, what is it? A pro, it's a, well, like a figurine? It's a, it was chocolate, brother. It was oh, it was chocolate. actual chocolate. It was chocolate. Of muscles? Of a muscle, like a muscular where they, guy. Where do they build, like, what is that factory? I have no idea where she got it. Sometimes when you're married, you don't ask questions, it's right? Amen to that. You just accept and smile and say, sweetie, that's lovely. Amen to that. Right. Um, yeah, so you've been here. So talk me through how you got to William Patterson. You, you were an undergrad at Montclair in business, not even in film, no. what you do. Um, you went to grad school at NYU. Right. How did you end up here? Um, so I was a business major, but I had to take, I, I tell this story, I had to take a dumb art class, yeah. right? You know, they make Any you take a whole bunch of stupid classes. Yeah. One of them was a dumb art class, and I took filmmaking. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see where the story's going, yeah. right? It wasn't so dumb, I fell in love with it. And I had already had and taken a lot of business classes, so I started taking a bunch of film classes. I started hanging around, film was in the art school, so I was hanging around with all the art kids, and I just fell in love with it. I graduated, and I applied to film school, and I got in. Around the same time, Spike Lee first hit, and was talking about black filmmakers, gotta make your own films and all this kind of stuff. My uncle was in the music business. He was a producer. You know, he wrote a bunch of uh, classic uh, songs by Jackson 5 and ABC, I Want You Back. He wrote Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive. So I used to go out there. So I've been around artists. Um, so Spike came along and I said, I'm going to apply to NYU. And then I got in. And next thing you know, I'm there. And I quickly realized I don't like being on set. Okay. And so teaching became my thing. Was it Spike that made you realize that specifically? Those were long days working on a feature film. Did you know? Spike torment you? No, no, Spike was cool. Spike was cool. I, my, I had one job not to get yelled at, because mm -hmm. Spike would yell at anybody. And so now, yeah. you pass that on to your students. That's right. <laughs> because if you've never taken a, a class with Chris Williams, I just had your class. Mm -hmm. 
um, which is funny because I almost skipped it this morning, but I was like, that's eh, probably not the best thing to do today. Um, you have this thing, I don't want to say you torment your students, but there are some mixed reviews because you have a thing with your students where you threaten them with seven-year-olds because seven, you say, and this is a quote almost verbatim, seven-year-olds will are, are your competition and will defeat you. Why? Yeah. Well, where does this stem from? Because now, Spike? The, the, it does. <laughs> well, no, it's recognizing that the competition is out there, that you're not special here, mm -hmm. that the bar to entry was very low. Like you used to have to own a film camera, you used to have to own a, a regular camera, a TV studio. Now, every kid with a cell phone and a TikTok account can publish stuff. My, my, my uh, goddaughter, she's got a bunch of followers and all this stuff. She's the, that's your competition. So I don't want students to come here and think they're magically gonna get some job at some great place because that's probably not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have to recognize that it's within their own creativity and I want them to be real and to come and be involved and to do stuff. This university has a lot to offer. Faculty are always here, they're devoted. You can get the finest education and media in the country at this school if you do it. But I want, I want to remind them, you got competition and the competition's in middle school right now. Eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich kicking your ass. You don't think you could just tell them like work harder? No, that's not gonna work. We're that, that having a 9.30 class with you and being told like, a seven year old is gonna beat your ass one day. That's just not, it's not a, the motivational thing that I need to hear to okay, want to so, get my degree. So two years after graduation, as I always say, mm -hmm. when I see you in Home Depot stocking shelves, yeah, and you're like, Professor Acme. Williams, right, you're in there, you know, or at Starbucks getting my mochaccino, Professor Williams, remember me? And I go, uh, yeah, yeah. And oh, I said, so what do you do? Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, good luck. I walk out going, hey, should have paid attention more, should have worked harder. Yeah. Um, before- I keeps it real. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. And, and I, I do want to sure say, I do yeah. want to say, I'm sure you I, do. I, I have a kid in college now. I say the same thing to him. I say the same thing to him. God bless you him. Gotta be re you got to be competitive and ready to go out in the world. Um, but you, when you're here now, um, but back in like the 90s, uh, you, you used to do, you started off doing what, music videos? Music is what you started video. doing? Music yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we have a clip of a music video that you did. You want to preface, you want to preface it for people? Yeah, well see, I was... Uh, or maybe we should see yeah, if they notice who yeah, you are actually. Okay. All right, let's watch the video of uh, Williams in like the 90s and see if you can guess his role. Let's take a look. Word to father, hot just like lava. Step to the you, yo kid, don't even bother. Refuse to pay dues, I use your ooze to kill all booze and lay back. That's you. <laughs> that was you at that last shot. You were getting what, robbed? I was getting robbed by uh, Granddaddy IU. Is that part performer. of it? So that plus the Spike Lee is all what got you oh, to this that's point why of telling I yell this. class. It's okay. literally therapy. All right. I go home, I sit down, and I go. Mm. That's, yeah, uh, <laughs> your wife and your son are amazing people for putting up with you. Um, <laughs> you are also, real quick, um, a pro bono lawyer. You, yes. And you just got an award, or they're giving you an award? Yes. What, tell tell uh, people real quick about the award. So I work for an organization called Partners. Yes. And they do uh, uh, legal services for uh, low-income women who are victims of domestic violence. Mm -hmm. And I'm a pro bono attorney, meaning yeah. I, I work for free. Um, and so I do several cases a year, and they've given me an award. I, I worked on a video uh, for them with a number of students. They really did a fantastic job. One here is here in the audience did a fantastic job on that. Um, they use it, and I'm always there whenever they need something. And I was th they have a big benefit in the spring, and they let me know that I'm going to be one of their partners in Hope, this beautiful award that they're giving. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm really excited about well, it. Well, congratulations, yeah. man. Congratulations. <laughs> Professor Chris Williams.